In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most common things I get asked all the time from new grad nurses, which is, do I have to start on a med surge unit? Because I feel like that's kind of a myth that's been floating around for quite a while, and a lot of teachers still preach it. So we'll tackle that today and hopefully give your mind a little bit of ease when it comes to that whole topic. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Liz, I'm a family nurse practitioner now, but before that I was a med surge nurse and a pediatric cardiology nurse. So I've done a little bit of both. I did start in med surge, so I kind of have some input there, but we'll kind of talk about it more in just a second. Before we hop into it, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't ever heard of Skillshare, it's an online learning community that, has, that teaches you pretty much anything you could ever wanna know. You guys know I've used them to learn how to make like pretty calligraphy on my notes, on my iPad, I've learned how to finally work my DSLR camera, and I'm taking Introduction Conversationalist Spanish, so the options are broad. If you're watching this video, it's pretty likely that you are maybe going to be a graduate nurse soon, and you might have some free time on your hands where you could actually learn something fun rather than something you have been forced to learn for the last few years. This could be a really cool alternative. Skillshare is less than $10 a month for their annual subscription, and like I said, they have 20 over 25,000 videos. They have topics on literally everything you can imagine, and it's just a really cool way to dig into something new and learn a new fun skill that you actually really want to learn. And there's no skills checkoffs, guys. So if you're interested in learning something new, the first 500 100 subscribers who use the link down in the description box can sign up for Skillshare for free for two months and try it out, learn something new. Like I said, there's no test at the end, so win. Now back to the topic at hand, which is, do you have to work on a med surge unit as soon as you pop out of nursing school? I feel like this is something that nursing professors especially really like to harp. They harped it, I remember when I was in nursing school, but they were starting to get away from it. And I will tell you, this is all just my opinion, guys. My, this is not like, this is live or breathe as it goes. But I would say no, you do not need to start on a med surge unit as a graduate nurse. I think many years ago, that was a good place to start because they taught you a lot of foundational skills and orientations weren't quite as focused onto the unit. You know, you kind of just got thrown in there from talking with some more experienced nurses. They were like, yeah, it didn't used to always be so focused on your target populations, kind of like it is now. And I think back then it was good to have, you know, that general basis. But now as things have gotten so specialized in all the specialties, you, they really teach you most of the stuff that you actually need to know when you're on the unit. So do I think you need to start absolutely on a med surge unit? No. Okay, great, end of video. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys know I'm way more chatty than that. I don't think it's necessary to start on a med surge unit. I think you can go into whatever you want. If you wanna go into peds, great, go into peds. Labor and delivery, that is its own beast. You head in that direction. There are also ICUs that will hire new grads. A lot of them have kind of an immersion program where it'll be quite a long onboarding because you're obviously learning quite a critical skill set. But if you know that's your goal and you're like, that's what I want to do, sure hop on in there they won't let you off orientation until you're all done i do think personally for me i would not have been able to hop right into a critical care role because i just would have wanted a little bit of a foundation now having said all of that like is it necessary obviously no would i did i start on med surge yes was it willing no i wanted to go straight into pediatrics but there were no the hospital was not hiring people straight into pediatrics you had to kind of get grandfathered into the hospital and then switch your way over and at the time i was not happy about it i was like this is not what i want to do i had a really bad attitude about it now looking back though i am so glad that i did start on that med surge unit because i can see sort of the value in why all the teachers have kind of said this over the years and say like, oh, it gives you a great foundation because it really, really does give you a great foundation. MedSurge teaches you a little bit of everything, which has now been hugely beneficial in my job as an FNP, but that's kind of a whole nother side tangent. But it did teach you how to manage a lot of difficult people, a lot of people from all age ranges, you know, confused people, post-surgery young people. Many different specialties consulted onto med surge, so you kind of got to see a little bit of everything and get to know how to work with each of the different groups, what the dynamics were, what the orders were, just become familiar with all of those different meds. We had, you know, like five patients. The acuity was really high on my unit, and it was just kind of a sink or swim situation. Whereas when I went over 
when I went over to pediatrics, it was a much more, there was a higher acuity, but I don't know if it's because it was kids, but our ratios were a lot softer and kinder over on pediatrics than it was over in adult land because that was brutal. But it really taught me how to have time management skills. It taught me how to prioritize what care absolutely needed to be done, how to kind of look for different safety things with my patients. So even though I didn't like it, I think looking back, it made me, it gave me a lot of, made me a better nurse. I had a lot of leadership opportunities on that floor because men surge usually has a pretty high turnover rate. So you become senior very quickly and you're a charge nurse way before you think you need to be. So if you're maybe entering the workforce and you're like, I'm not totally sure where I want to do, like I'm not sure I want to hop straight into a specialty. You don't have your heart set on anything. I don't think it's a bad place to start. You're going to gain so many awesome skills and you might be introduced to a patient population that you didn't even know you loved, but after interacting with them on that unit, you realize, hey, I actually really want to go into cardiology. So you're going to go apply to a telemetry or a post-cardiac surgery floor. You're like, hey, I don't like talking to people. I'm going to go to the OR <laughs> where you realize, whoa, like I actually don't like dealing with adults. I want to deal with babies. <laughs> Nick you, here I come. It's gonna give you such a good perspective of what you like, what you actually wanna work with, and then you can kinda of go in that direction. So that's kind of my whole take on like, do you have to? No, if you do though, it's a great learning opportunity. One other thing I wanted to talk about with this, if you're sitting there and you're like, hey, I don't really know, like I kind of think I wanna go into the specialty, but I don't know a ton about it. I didn't have a ton of experience with that in my education, like I dabbled in it, but it's not like I'm very well prepared, like labor and delivery. You're on labor and delivery for what, like two, three weeks, and then it's like, Meh. I would don't want you to feel like you're not confident enough to then go into that role because they will teach you everything you wanna know. When I made the transition from, I had been a med surge nurse for a little over a year and a half, and then I went to pediatrics, and they treated me like a brand new grad, which was good. They kind of had the mentality of like, you're going to learn everything all over again. You know, like we're introducing totally new concepts for you. My orientation was longer on my second nursing job. So pediatrics than it was for my initial med surge job as a new grad, when I was definitely needed a little bit more help because specialties just tend to give you a little bit more coddling and love. And they really want you to do super well before they send you out there into their specialty population. So don't let that hinder you thinking you don't have the background knowledge going into it. That's totally fine. They will make sure you have it by the time you get off of orientation, okay? And if you need a little bit more time, that's fine. But they'll teach you the specialized skills. And I don't also want you to think that you're going into the specialty and you can never switch. Cause that's something else that some people have said like, oh, I'm like, I've gone into this, now I'm stuck. You're not stuck, friend. You can just go pick a different specialty and they'll train you all the same. You're learning skills wherever you are. So even if you make a drastic switch, let's say you're on psych and now you want to go to the ICU, your communication skills are probably top notch. That's going to be a huge benefit for you. So there's going to be something that you're learning everywhere. And like I said, they're not going to let you off orientation until they're pretty sure you are doing a okay. And you feel fine. Shockingly, I don't have much else to say about this. So we're going to wrap this up here. Hope this was helpful for you. Maybe answered that question. You might've had lurking in the back of your mind as you're looking at applying to jobs. If this video was helpful and you'd like to see more like it, consider subscribing. I would love to have you. I do weekly videos like this about nursing stuff or NP stuff on Tuesdays and on Saturdays, I have a vlog where I just document my life in and out of work as a family nurse practitioner. And I'll make sure to leave some video suggestions at the end of this video. Wow, I said video a lot of times in the last 30 seconds. That might be helpful as you are entering this I might be graduating soon phase, which is super exciting and congratulations. I am also over on Instagram if you have any questions, want to message me, chat. I do frequently ask questions all the time over there and just kind of like tidbits of what I see in the office now as an FNP. So head over there, message me, and we can talk over there if you have any questions. We always have a question of the day. So if you have already graduated and you're in your first job, what do you think? Did you start on med surge? If you did, were you happy? you did? Did you go into a specialty? Did you love that? Leave me all the details down below. I'm excited to hear your feedback because obviously I'm not the only one with opinions about this and I'd love to hear yours. Hope you're having a fabulous rest of your week and I will see you next time. Bye.